Okay, Kate, what's up today? Today, we are almost to the weekend. It's Thursday, but it's also World Bathing Day. Okay. Yeah, okay, everyone unite and take a bath. Get bathed. Get bathed. Okay, that's a good reminder for the world. Right? It's good to be clean. Not just because you might have an offensive odor, but uh, you can get like bed sores and stuff, right? If you can't remember the last time you bathed, today's the day. That's trouble. Today's the day. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Celebrate. Today is also Onion Rings Day, Matt. Onion rings. Yeah. Where, where are you at on onion rings? You a fan or do you opt for French fries? Or it's what would you? my favorite way to eat onions. And when I say my favorite way, I'm pretty much, that's the only way I like to eat onions. <laughs> Fried okay. and with ketchup <laughs> or ranch. So would you choose them over French fries or no? Mm, every now Depends. and then. I, I, yeah. My, my Finn, my oldest, she is an onion rings girl. She okay. loves onion rings. So I can always like grab a couple. I always think of Winstead's, you know, Winstead, Winstead's mm-hmm. as a kid mm-hmm. with onion rings and taking a bite. And then every once in a while, whoop, the onion came right out of the sleeve. And it looks like you're eating a tapeworm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a hot yeah. look. But that's pretty common. That's pretty common with onion rings. I love the old Sonic onion rings. Difficult mm. to chomp through. God, mm-hmm. I still haven't, I haven't had Sonic in probably 15 years or something silly. You are missing out, friend. Right. So good. Oh, you got to use the app for happy hour or some baloney like that, right? You you don't have to use the app, but if you want happy hour all day long, use the app. Well, there you go. Good tip, Kate. There you go. Yeah. It's money rings. Today is also Volkswagen Beetle Day, Matt. Do you ever play Slug Bug? Oh, you punch someone in the arm when you see a yeah. Volkswagen Beetle? Red Slug Bug, and you punch them in the arm, and then you say, no Slug Bug back, and then you wipe it off. Oh, I didn't remember you that do part. do that? Okay. I Remember getting punched in the arm when someone saw a beetle. Yeah. That's how we play in our house or in our uh, house, in our car. <laughs> yeah. We're not in our house. So they were rarer when we were kids. This is basically right. a discontinued product until, I don't know, we were older and less mm-hmm. likely to punch each other in the arm for that at least. <laughs> mm. <laughs> or no, no, no. So you still, you slug your kids when you see a beetle? Oh, Absolutely. The kids do it. I mean, we don't slug, but we say yellow slug bug, no slug bug back, and you wipe off the slug. But someone mm-hmm. takes it in the arm, right? Yeah, but you don't like punch. It's not. Some people say punch buggy, but we just say oh. yellow slug bug. Okay. Well, I understand in your case, you know, that'd probably be child abuse or whatever. Start right. Causing right. bruises. But isn't that what you're supposed to do if you're a kid? Bruise your sister's arm? Um, that's the rule. Not if I'm their mom, because then I'm like, quit hitting your sister. Buzzkill. I know. No fun. Hey, Kate, you know how people put their signs for their business, like right away, like just right in the middle of a, a median or something like that? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I'll get windows or something like that. I saw one for dryer vents the other day. Nice. Dryer vent cleaning. Yep. It's real. Now. Previously on Matt and Kate, first I had said, oh, cleaning out your dryer vent to keep your house from burning down is a bunch of hocus pocus and baloney, right? Wasn't right. that my take? That was a strong take, yep. Yeah, and then there was a story about a pet shelter that burned to the ground, and they luckily got all the animals out of there, but the cause of the fire was dryer vent. It's wild. Yep. When's the last time you clean your dryer vent? Uh, ne- never. I know. Still, I pull out the filter each time and clean that. Yeah, every every time. But I also just tumble dry. I just tumble dry, so it's not. It's less likely to catch on fire. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, do you do tumble dry because of no that reason? No, no. Just okay. just try to save on energy and to not heat up the house potentially, depending you know if we're in summertime or running AC or whatever. But gotcha. you know, I just found that wild that's that's a profitable enough endeavor that it makes sense to go start painting signs throughout the city. Yeah. About it. Don't you? Don't you find it a little bit wild? Well, but I'm guessing when they say this dryer vent, don't they mean like further in like the ducks? Oh yeah, yeah. Dryer no, vents? No, correct. Right. Yeah, they're meaning beyond okay. the dryer, as you kind of indicated when I had said, Well, I take the thing out and empty it. You know, I have yeah. a hook. It oh. looks like a giant pipe cleaner. Yeah. But it's kind of got a hook angle to it so you can get in there and clean the stuff 
oh. when you take out the filter. Especially, mm-hmm. especially formulated to mm-hmm. do this task? Yep. Were you the one that's been putting up these signs around town? No. But mm. the part where like where our dryer vent is on our house is on the opposite side of our mudroom laundry room. So I know it has to go a far distance. So yeah. it makes me wonder, like, what's in that vent that goes all the way through the house? You know what I mean? So the dryer vents across the entire length of the house? Is that what you're indicating? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's plenty of room for the lint to spread out and not catch on fire, right? I sure as heck hope so. No. <laughs> Well, have you, so you haven't considered an exciting new career or side job of cleaning other people's dryer vents? No. 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 Okay. Well, it's waiting for you if you want to. Just in case. Apparently you've got competition though. If this thing doesn't work out. There you go. Matt, it's roller coaster week. Woo. That's right it is. No, that doesn't sound like the sound you'd make on a roller coaster. Ah! There you go. Is that better? (laughs) That's much better. So of course that's the sound I make. The, of course, of course. Okay, so I'm going to quiz you. Is this a real roller coaster or a fake roller coaster? Yeah, so far this week, I have done myth on it, which is fine. No. I'm happy with that grade. Okay. You're always too hard on yourself. Thank you. You're like, I did okay. I mean, you I didn't did okay. ace it, but you're not tanking it. I did so. okay. I felt there like I go. was going to go to remedial. Is it a roller coaster or not? School or something. <laughs> and I'm okay. All right. Okay, real or fake? Intimidator 305. Intimidator 305. I will say that's... I will say that's real. That is real. It's located at King's Dominion in Virginia. I was curious if the 305 was an area code or something. That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. But I don't know that for sure. Okay, I looked it up. It's Miami, Florida. Okay. It's 305. Nope. Damn it. Okay. Real or fake? The Forest Rumbler. The Forest Rumbler. Oh, sounds a little bit like the Timber Wolf. Right? Mm-hmm. Forest Rumbler. I will say that's real. That is fake. I made it up. Because yeah. I thought it sounded a lot like the Timber Wolf, too. Yeah. Uh, no. No. It's available. It's available, yeah. There you go. Okay, Ravine Flyer 2. Ravine Flyer 2. Is this a real or a fake roller coaster? I will say that's real. That is real. It's All in right. Pennsylvania. I guess the first one was in a state of disrepair. Maybe. Maybe. Or they're like, we need a more epic journey on this. Maybe it's like the Zambezi Zinger. Right. Like this is Ravine Flyer reimagined. Except Zambezi Zinger opted to not have number two, two. next to Right. Time, but yeah. Right. Okay, last one. Real or fake roller coaster, Matt? Black Heart Drop. Black Heart Drop. I will say that's real, and maybe it's in Vegas or something. One would think, because it does sound very card-related, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's fake. Even though I know Black Heart doesn't really work, but okay, fail. Fail. But who on cares? That one. Roller coasters are fun. They are. Go get your roller coaster on. Yeah, when are you going next? Do you know? I don't know. We need to make a plan. Come on, no kidding. TikTok. When are you going? Summertime is moving. I don't know. Okay. No time, no time. There's never any time. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm scared, but I'm not resorting to caffeine pills yet like Jesse Spano from Saved by the Bell. Good idea. Good idea. Thank you. All right, Kate. Beat the heat. Check the back seat. Yep. You familiar with that rhyme? I am. Would you like to explain to the listener what it means? Don't leave people or animals in your car. (laughs) That's true. You should be looking back there. Now, one of the better hacks I've heard over time is to always put something you need in the back seat, like put your purse back there or your phone or something. So that you're always like. Like your baby? Yeah, with with your your baby. Isn't that crazy? You won't forget your purse, but you might forget your baby. Right, right. And it makes sense, you know, if, you know. You're not always the one taking the kid out. You know, maybe it's 50-50 that you're the one mm-hmm. taking the kid out mm-hmm. to a thing. And you're like, well, I don't normally take him to this particular deal. And then, whoops, I didn't check. And now, whoops, tragedy. Great. Damn it. Should have checked. If only I'd put my phone back there. 
on my screen in my car. Every time you turn off the car, it says, is everyone out of the vehicle? Please check the back seat. Oh, really? Mm Mm-hmm. Huh. How about that? Now, your kids are old enough now. To get out. (laughs) To to get out. To know, like, oh, you know what? It's getting really uncomfortable in here. I should get out. Right. As opposed to a small child. Strapped in. Yeah. Yeah. They grew up so fast. I know. I know. Did you ever come close to leaving the kid behind? Never. Never? Mm -mm. Mm-mm. Look at Miss Perfect over here. But I was also, like, 99.9% of the time, like, getting them in and out. So, like, when you were talking about maybe you're not used to taking the kid to daycare or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no. It was always me. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, don't give you too much credit? No, I'm just saying, (laughs) like, I wouldn't have forgotten it because it was, like, part of the habit. Yeah, I was always with them. They were attached to you. Yep. Mm Mm-hmm. How convenient. Or not. Totally. Yeah, right. (laughs) Matt, new college grads need training on how to write an email and even worse, make appropriate eye contact. Oh, gosh. Yeah. The eye contact thing I've kind of noticed. Yes. Okay. So the Wall Street Journal just did a story. College grads are needing lessons on how to behave when working in person. Which, okay, you've never worked in a formal office setting. Maybe you were just at McDonald's or whatever, but you need to have how to have face-to-face conversations, making appropriate eye contact, and how to tell when someone doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Wow. Yes. Okay. Why? It, so the eye contact thing I don't get because the majority of kids are still like in-person school with other kids. Can't you train the eye contact then? Or what's going on? One would think. They did most of these college students did most of their classes over Zoom during the pandemic. Okay. And they haven't had a chance to learn a lot of basic stuff. And in this article, it's like really basic stuff. So major companies have started offering training sessions on how to talk to people in person. How lovely. Right? <laughs> Isn't seems, that crazy? Seems like an important life skill that you, you might... I don't know, have encountered some of before entering the workforce, but. Right. Yeah. And I feel, I'm, I really feel for kids who missed out during the pandemic and weren't able to go to school of any age. That's for sure. But still, plenty of time before then and since then to develop that some, I think. Well, I definitely yeah. have been talking to my girls, 11 and 13, about like when we go to a restaurant mm-hmm. and they, when they, they have started ordering for themselves in the last year or so. Like they have to make eye contact with the server. They have to speak loud enough. Okay. Um, That's nice. And they have to use their manners, obviously. But like, if you're not looking at that person, they can't always tell what you're saying or if you have that menu in front. So little things like you've got to make eye contact. You've got to speak clearly. I haven't taught them how to handshake yet, but no, we'll get there. Okay. I mean, they're also pandemic kids that like, ooh, no touchy knuckles or elbows. (laughs) You should stop wasting all that time parenting and just let their first professional workplace job teach them how to do it. True. Right? All that work parenting. If they can get hired, sure. That part's important. Now, luckily, you know, Gmail now has the help me compose button. Yeah. Have you checked to see if you've gotten that yet? I haven't. Uh, if I were you, I'd be checking that daily. I probably need to log out of mine, Matt, and I'm afraid to log oh. out, to log back in. So, In case you're unfamiliar, dear listener, Kate has a problem with tabs, too many tabs. Lots of tabs. Or maybe just the right amount of tabs might be your actual take on it. I'm actually, I feel good about the tabs I have right now. Is that right? Oh. I mean, I'm sitting at 16. Okay. That's pretty good. That's not the most aggressive one I've heard. mm mm I've had worse. Yeah. Well, good job. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. So did you try out cap and bet on the kids yet, Kate? I forgot. Come on. What are you doing? Use the reminder feature I know, on your Matt, phone. I know. You and I spend every morning together and I spend the rest of my afternoons with my children. That's a lot of time in between for me to forget. Well, that's why you, you can use the reminder feature on your phone. Say Remind me at 3 p.m. to say cap to Elliot or something like that. I think you need to go search out kids to try this experiment with. It's not as funny. 
It's funnier because it's you and your kids. That's what's funny. I don't have kids to call me a dork or whatever. I know. That's why you should go to stranger kids and see if they call you a dork, even though they're stranger kids. <laughs> Get away from <laughs> us, you creep. You know, I'm <laughs> envisioning this now. But, uh, okay. Well, we'll check back in tomorrow with another thrilling edition of Has Kate Tried to Drop Any Youthful Slang on Her Kids Yet? Can't wait to find yeah. out. Matt Elliott's championship softball game tonight has been canceled. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Our team apparently forfeited the game. Couldn't. To the team. Couldn't field the team. There are some club tryouts tonight that okay. mesh over or, you know, blend over with the start time of the game. So okay. some of the girls were going to be late. So our just coaches just decided to forfeit. Okay. Because so. <laughs> three of the players were pitchers. So they were like, how can we start a game without a pitcher? And uh, just throw a scrub up there. Right? Yeah. Right. No. That's nope. They're not. I mean, I had nothing. So no this email this. came out last night at nine thirty, and I saw it, and I told Elliot about it. This, and is when she you, was, this is when you first found out that you're not playing in the championship tonight. Is last night at nine thirty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That seems. And it was intense. an email. Yeah. It wasn't like through the app that we communicate. It was through an email, mm-hmm. and it was like, "Hey, sorry about this. We're going out on a high because of the great game we played on Sunday." And we're not playing in the championship game. Weak. Totally. How's Elliot feel about that? Mm, she was a little okay with it, but I still think she's a little disappointed because the game on Sunday was so good and they rallied and they came from behind. And the team that they played on Sunday, that was their first loss. So they played up. So we were going to play them again tonight. Oh, okay. And this has been the team that like, we've battled the most against. So it was like really going to be like a see we told you we were good type of moment and and now it's not. Now they get to have the tournament because of our forfeit yeah. and we're second place. Yeah, they get to say they're champions mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. they might say, "Oh, tell us about the championship game." And they'll go, "Well, they were too scared." So, yeah. We won by default. Yep. They were chicken. That's kind of how it feels. But that email came out at like 9:30 last night. Yeah. This morning when I woke up there was like Eight emails from parents who were not happy. I imagine. Not happy at all. So I felt like I was catching up on, you know, some reality TV. Like, oh, yeah, no kidding. What did Kim say? Ooh, snap, Carrie. That was oh, Paul's. <laughs> Paul's getting in on it now. Oh, Paul yeah. with the middle finger emoji. Oh, man. Damn. So it's kind of heartbreaking. Yeah. That's a little bit wild. I've. Would think you'd be able to plan around that a little bit. Not you, but the coach. I know. Whoever I know. decided to make that decision. But. And really, okay. as much as I was looking forward to like this being our last game, like, whoa, we're done with softball after tonight. Yeah. I'm a little sad. Uh, yeah. No exclamation point. Just I went me. I know. Elliot's been playing so good lately that I was just kind of excited to. You know, see her in the championship, take yep. some pictures and, you know. But no, nope, betrayed by a bunch of people who are trying out for club stuff. No. Nope. So now she gets to go to the pool today instead of resting up for the game tonight. Yeah, sucks to be a kid. Right. Right. So the FAA got a little bit insecure when Wired tweeted, what's the best airline to fly? Why are so many flights getting canceled? And should you still be using a travel agent? And then a link to their story, right? And so the FAA right. quote tweeted this and wrote, Flight cancellations are actually trending lower in 2023 than in previous years, and flight delays are most often because of weather. Even still, the FAA is continuously working to address these challenges. Check out the data. FAA.gov slash summer travel. Care to find, if you care to see the data, make the FAA feel like you're at least willing to understand them, Kate. Do people still use travel agents? Apparently. Apparently. I never have. Have you? No. Okay. No. You don't think it makes any sense? No, I just, I'm surprised. It's, there's still travel agents considering you can just get online and boop, 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 boop. Yep, just like that. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe if you really want to dial in the thing or if you got a bunch of money, you're saying, here, could you figure this vacation out for me? I don't want to think at all. Yeah. I mean, uh, for a lot of people, do that calculation. What's my time worth? And like, yeah, True. I want to I want to go to Hawaii, but I don't want to have to think about anything other than that. So let me get a travel agent and have them make it happen. And then there must be enough of those people to justify travel agents still existing. That's my theory. Yeah. Rich people, Kate. Rich people. Yep. First class. My dad used to say it only costs a little more to go first class. But I was always like, Dad, that's more than I've got, though. So not going first class. Did you fly first class as a kid with your family? Uh, no, we no. didn't fly as kids. My right. first flight, I was 20 and terrified and not with my family. <laughs> Did they hide the existence of planes from you as a child? Right. I want to fly in one of those. Nope. Minivan it is. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He only said that after we were out of the house. Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> Once it was no longer his credit card. Right. right. When it was just him and my mom. Well, I just found that out, though. I just I just came upon this realization, Kate. Whoops-a-daisy. Yeah. Matt, just for the pun of it. Just for the pun of it. Kate's going to give us the setup to a joke, and then you and I, dear listener, will guess the punchline. Just for the pun of it. How do you make a hot tub fly? How do you make a hot tub fly? Oh, wow. Okay. Hot tub. There's hot water in there. You got to make sure the pH balance is correct, right, Kate? I test mm-hmm. that water. True. True. Chlorinate. Hot tub. Mm. What was it again? The hot tub fly. What? How do you make a hot tub fly? How do you make a hot tub fly? I don't know, Kate. I give up. You turn on the jets. You turn on the jets. There it is. There it is. Nicely done. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> 